Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Adelina and I make videos about living in this tiny house on wheels and living a more intentional life. And on Wednesdays, I try and share a yummy plant-based recipe, yummy vegan recipe. So today, what we're going to make is a marinated vegetable salad. So it's hot. I just turned my AC off and the fans off so that I could do this video. So we're gonna do something fast and something that doesn't heat up the house. Um, and that you can take to family gatherings too. So because if you live in part of the world where it's summertime and you are having family get togethers, family barbecues, um, if you're vegan, then you never really know if there's gonna be something there that you can eat. So always bring something that's yummy that everybody can eat. And this marinated salad is one of those things. You can change out the vegetables to whatever you like. This is what I'm gonna use. Um, I did think I had some those little mini uh, baby corns. I can of those, but for some reason I don't have it. I must have used it up, so I'm not gonna add it in here. But this is a super simple recipe, and it's delicious, especially if you let it sit overnight or at least for a couple of hours in your fridge. So let's get making that. Here are the ingredients for our marinated vegetable salad. We're gonna start with some apple cider vinegar. You can also use red vinegar, but I like the apple cider. Get the unpasteurized. It's the one with the mother in it. Uh, you'll know it's that because it'll look like there's sediment at the bottom because the what they call the mother is the probiotic and that's what makes this good for your tummy. Some extra virgin olive oil, some Dijon mustard. If you just have regular yellow mustard, use that. I'm going to put in a can of chickpeas, Oops. Uh, a can of chickpeas, garbanzo beans, just to add uh, extra protein and make this a meal. A can of mushrooms. I prefer the whole button mushrooms. I prefer canned versus fresh uh, just because of the texture and I'll slice these in half. And then a, I'm gonna use half of this head of cauliflower. Three or four of these carrots, I haven't decided how many. Three for sure. I've got half a red onion. I'm gonna slice that and put that in there. And then a red bell pepper. And then for seasonings in the dressing, a garlic and herb you can use the mrs dash whatever you have if you don't have a gar garlic and herb blend just use garlic powder and italian seasoning um, or i guess herb de provence would work as well um, but i like italian seasoning in this so that's all we'll need for our recipe so let's get started i'm gonna add a half a cup of olive oil If you don't use all of the dressing in the salad, then you've got some yummy salad dressing in your fridge. And then a quarter cup of your vinegar. Whoops. One tablespoon of Italian seasoning. One teaspoon of herb and garlic, nice rounded teaspoon. A tablespoon of your Dijon mustard. And if you don't, like I said, if you don't have Dijon mustard, just use your regular um, yellow mustard, but it is better with Dijon. very hot here and I've turned my AC off so I really want to get this made and then salt and pepper to taste I'm just gonna add a little bit of each right now and then before I put it on the veggies I will add a little bit more or taste it and see if I need to add a little bit more but you want a fair amount of flavor in your dressing. And I'm gonna pour this into a jar. 
so that I can, should have probably mixed it in the jar, oh well, uh, so that I can give it a good shape before I pour it onto the salad. The mustard helps emulsify it. Um, and by that I mean it helps the oil and the vinegar to blend together. So it's kind of an important idea. All right, so now that's done, I'm gonna set this aside to let the flavor start mix melding. And we are gonna get at getting all of the veggies ready. I'm gonna put them all into a great big I should have been ready. I'm going to put them all into a great big bowl. Um, and we're going to start with opening and rinsing and draining our chickpeas. You do want to drain them and rinse them. Now, if you don't like chickpeas, don't put them in there. But I'm adding them in because I want this to be a meal. And while all veggies have protein in them, this will just add more fiber and more protein and make it, and just make it more hearty, more filling. So like I said, I like, I prefer you to use the tinned button mushrooms versus fresh because I like the texture of these better in a marinated salad. So cue the fast forward. Now you can also add broccoli if you want, celery if you want, uh, green beans, raw green beans, whatever, whatever you feel like. It's your salad. You get to do whatever you want in it. Oops. All right. So that's it for the veggies. And now. Green pepper is what I would normally use, but the green peppers at the store weren't very good. So um, I bought a red pepper instead, but I think the green, the color of the green in here would be nice. Okay. Now we are going to pour our dressing over top. But before I do that, I'm going to taste it. Mm. Needs more salt. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the herb and garlic seasoning in here. Um, I could crush up a garlic clove in there. That would work as well. So just play around with it until you like how it tastes. Remembering that the flavors will get uh, stronger and blend, meld together as you let it sit and chill. Now this makes a lot. And then just let this sit in your fridge.
for the flavors to meld and absorb. And you'll have the perfect dish to bring to a barbecue. When you're ready to serve, you can uh, garnish it with maybe some green onions, scallions. Like I say, you will have let it sit in the fridge to get nice and blended. But I'm gonna spoon some out just so that you can see what it looks like. And for the thumbnail, I always forget to do a thumbnail. And then I'm scrolling through trying to find shots that I don't have a weird look on my face. There you go. Whoops. Hmm. It's already pretty good. But as it sits in your fridge, the flavors will melt and it will get more intense. And then just before you serve it, taste it to see if it needs more salt and pepper. So this is the first in my series of recipes for when it's really hot and you don't want to heat up the house at supper time. You can eat this as a side, but because there's chickpeas in here, it can also be a meal because there's lots of protein in that. And um, I think this would be an excellent dish to take to a family gathering anywhere where um, there's a gathering and you're not sure if there's any plant-based options, vegan options for you, just bring something delicious because everybody will love this. It's not weird vegan food. So you can bring it to your family gathering. Then nobody's gonna uh, turn their nose up at it. They're just gonna eat it and think it's delicious. So anyways, guys, I hope you try it. I hope you like it. Let me know if you do. Let me know what kind of vegetables you would put in here. Um, like I say, I would normally put a green pepper in here so there would be some green in here, but they were just all kind of gross at the store today and I didn't want to go to more than one store because it's hot. Remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind um, because we need a lot more kindness in this world. I love you and I'll see you next time. Sophie? Mm. You want some marinated salad? Hmm? No. Yeah.